Look, we're matching. Oh yeah, you do need your bandana. I hung up my book bag. Today we are juicing on the X1 Mini. You have to get it back into the kitchen. Jordan has a really good idea of putting it on the fridge. Who guesses? That's smart. Where are we going to put the CP7? Right by it. I want it in the video. Uh, see what you're doing. We have 10 pounds of carrots and some apples and some pears. Get a little bit gory. If y'all follow me on this, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know I love my carrot juice. Are you ready to go to your permanent home? We're just introducing the juicers to each other. They seem to be getting along. Although the CT7 feels a little So good together. So happy we went with the green. This is like a, the, the good nature mobile. It's gonna give everything a little soaking. Being one dollar cupcakes right now. I'm stealing our tips from last year. Okay. Looks like we're going to get cupcakes. Back to our organic We got 10 pounds of carrots, a handful of pears and apples. That's gonna be good, the pear. Yeah. I don't like juices too sweet, so this will be. This is this will do it for this for our first round. We were gonna set everything. Do we need to rinse anything on there? Um, I forget how they say this gets clean. This is probably with look through the manual. A sponge like this guy does. Jordan's gonna put the juicer together. If you guys wanna see the full unboxing of this, we did film that yesterday. You can find it on my channel and Jordan's channel. You can watch us take it all apart and put it back together. We are not experts yet. I was like, 
I don't want to choose on it, and though it is tricking, because it's just so fearful. I've never used a full head juicer before. Anything. But this one, I feel so much more confident. Yeah. <laughs> you like got a year of experience. Yeah. We're about to plug it in. <laughs> it's about to come to life. We are already all set up. Got the alligator clip in and everything. Alligator knob. Alligator knob. Lights. Lights. Where'd they go? <laughs> the lights went away. Make sure you have your. Here we go. Look at it going! Automatically then, shuts off. Yeah, it automatically shuts off when you lift the thing out. I'm gonna do some apples and pears now. So I'm gonna throw one, two, three. I'm gonna go three in. It's like half full in there, you say? Yeah. carrot juice. that from making them nervous. So I'm going to move the moving platen, which is this guy, all the way back. I'm going to unclip my bag. And let's take a look. They look pretty dry. That's actually way more dry than I CT7 got on the CT7. It's pretty wet. But that's really good. Wow. I'm super impressed. Me too. Especially for the fact that I didn't lift it up after grinding and readjust the produce. Yeah, that was just one press, no fussing with it. I mean, no. that's really dry. Hey guys, for whatever reason, I lost my audio here. Uh, but here we filled up the grind chamber, way too full. We just put too much in it, and it was kind of stuck there in that little shoot uh, so we just kind of pushed it through uh, we did end up filling up the bag as full as it could go it was way too much it actually overflowed out the sides we had the tray off a little bit uh, but we <laughs> we made a little mess here we're talking about the tray placement <laughs> and then we sit there and watch it really really closely <laughs> This batch yielded about 48 ounces. It was a big batch and it presses so fast. There you can see how much it made. We are pleasantly surprised about how easy it is to use this machine. There is no fussing with it. There is no... Um, there's so many less steps to do than the CT7. We're sitting here talking about what we can do with the free time while it juices. How simple it is. How we don't have to take platens in and out. How you don't have to even fill the press bags. I don't know what I said there, but it was funny. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. I am going to film another video on cleaning the X1 Mini, I just have to keep my videos under 15 minutes because I'm a small YouTuber. Thank you guys for watching, we will see you on the next one.